Hey everybody, I'm Pastor Alan DiDio, the host of Encounter Today and EncounterToday.com. And what you may not know is, I was an atheist who had an encounter with Satan. Now I need every single one of you who are watching this right now, I need you to share this video with as many people as you possibly can, because I believe some of you are about to have a divine encounter. At 17 years of age, I was an atheist. I despised Christians and Christianity. I'd been in jail more than once, and I didn't want anything to do with the church. A friend of mine had invited me to a church service. I didn't want to go, but there was a special choir that was going to be there, and as a lover of all different kinds of music, I said, I'll go, but I'm going to sit in the back row. And somehow we winded up on the second row. And it was a Pentecostal church. I'd never been in a Pentecostal church. People started talking in some unusual language and then praying for people and they would fall on the ground. And I was looking for the first exit. If they didn't have one, I was going to create one. When all of a sudden the preacher looked at me, he pointed his finger and said, you, I am laying hands on you now as a prophet of God to make you an example of what I can do with a young man sold out to me. And he laid hands on me, and as far as I was concerned, he pushed me down. I didn't feel anything. In fact, all I felt was confusion, frustration, and fury. I was angry at my friend for inviting me to this church. And I'm telling you this because I believe many of you have loved ones who you've tried to witness to, you've tried to invite them to church, and maybe they haven't responded the way you'd like them to. Don't look at the outward response. Because though I was angry and I was frustrated on the outside, something was happening on the inside. Over the next few days, I struggled. I didn't realize I was struggling, but doubt began to cloud my mind. I began to think these thoughts, God is not real. You don't believe in any of that. Don't ever walk through the doors of that church again. Well, there was some kind of party, a youth party that I was invited to. I thought, well, that'll be safe. There were going to be girls there and there's going to be free food. Why not? So I showed up on a Sunday night to a youth event. And during that youth event, everybody was playing. They were talking. They were having a good time. Music is blaring, foosball, pizza. But I was depressed. When I walked through the doors of the building, there was this dark cloud that seemed to hang over my head. I could barely lift my head up, just the doubt tormenting me. You don't believe in this. Get out of this church. You don't belong here. So I went and sat over in the corner. And as I sat there with these thoughts bombarding my mind, all of a sudden, it was as if I was sucked into a tunnel. I don't know if you've ever been underwater before, and you know what it's like, how you can hear the sounds outside when you're underwater, but they're muffled. All of a sudden, all the sounds around me, the music, the, the teenagers talking, everything that was happening just seemed to be muffled. And all I could hear was this grotesque, distinct voice. It was saying the same things my thoughts were saying. You don't believe in any of this. Get out of here. And I recognized immediately, even as an atheist, that it was a voice of Satan. Chills ran down my spine. Even now talking about it, I can, I can feel the hairs on my arms standing up because it was a horrible sound. And I realized in that moment that all the thoughts I thought I was having, all of the decisions I thought I was making based on those thoughts were inspired by demonic entities. It was as if God, like the Wizard of Oz, pulled the curtain away and allowed me to see who was really doing the talking. And if someone has shared this video with you and maybe you've been having thoughts of doubt concerning God, let me encourage you right now, those thoughts aren't coming from you, those thoughts are coming from the enemy. And that voice, loud, as loud as my voice is to you right now, saying, get out of here, you don't believe in any of this, and God showed me in that instant. Not only that it was the voice of the devil, because it doesn't take much to realize that. If the devil's real, God is real. And God showed me how weak his voice was. That he was holding on for dear life, and he was only holding on to my life through deception. And God had exposed his deception. I didn't know how to pray. I wasn't raised in church. So I said, Satan, you can't have me anymore. Jesus, I'm all yours. And in that moment, the voice left, the torment left, the cloud lifted, 
and I felt this nagging feeling. I didn't know anything about the Bible. I didn't know the Bible says what the heart man believes, but with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. But I felt compelled to tell everybody what had just happened to me. So I made them turn off the music. I made everyone stop playing, stop eating, and through sobs and through tears, I shared with them the encounter, the experience I just had. And the moment I testified, weights I didn't even know were binding me were lifted. Bondages I didn't know that I had were broken, and I was instantly and totally set free. Listen to me. I don't know whether you're listening to this for a loved one or you're the loved one someone has shared this with. Satan's power is weak. His deception is deep, but it's being exposed right now. In a moment, I'm going to pray for you to have an encounter, but you need to give your life over to Jesus. You may not know much about God. You don't need to. All you need to be able to say is this, Satan, you can't have me anymore. And Jesus, I'm all yours. Let me pray for you right now. Let me pray for a supernatural encounter in your life. In Jesus' name, just lift your hands right there where you are. Father, in the name of your Son, you see their heart, you see the bondages that they find themselves in, the deceptions that have bound them. I pray those be exposed and that they be broken right now in the name of your Son. And I pray that now there'll be a revelation of your grace, of your mercy, as they repent and turn to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Just declare right now, I receive it. In fact, right in the comments of this video, I receive in Jesus' name and reach out to this ministry. They'd be happy to pray with you. They'd be happy to minister to you, but here's what you've got to do. I felt compelled to share that with everyone you need to share it with everyone as well. Right now, hit that share button and let's get this gospel message out because Satan is deceiving multitudes. They think it's their own thoughts that are telling them these things and they don't realize it's the enemy, but I believe the Holy Spirit can use you to expose that deception and bring the truth to them right now. Hit that share button and let us know that you received this message. And I'm going to be looking at these comments as well, and I'm going to be praying for you. So if you have any prayer requests, be sure to put those in the comments as well. We love every single one of you, and I can't thank you enough for sitting there and allowing me to share my testimony with you. God bless.